Cyprus dwarf hippo was roughly the same size as the extant pygmy hippopotamus. Unlike the modern pygmy hippo, the Cyprus dwarf became small through the process of insular dwarfism. Its extremely small size is in favor of a middle Pleistocene or perhaps even early Pleistocene colonization. At the time of its extinction 2,000 years ago before our time, the Cyprus dwarf hippo was the largest animal on the island of Cyprus. It was a herbivore and had no natural predators. Excavation sites on Cyprus, particularly Adokremnos, provide evidence that the Cyprus dwarf hippo may have encountered and been driven to extinction by the early human residents of Cyprus. The Tenerife giant rat is a species of rodent endemic to the island of Tenerife, the largest of the Canary Islands. A scientific study published in 2012 compared the species to present-day arboreal rodents such as the giant rat of the island of Luzon in the Philippines. The study revealed that among the distinctive features of Canariumus brevoi are claws that develop almost similarly in the anterior and posterior limbs. Also the hind legs longer than the front ones evoke an intermediate form between rats and arboreal murals like the motor rat. Canariomys brevoi was a strong and powerfully muscled rodent able to move on different substrates from the ground to the trees, and probably had digging skills. The giant rat, along with some other endemic species of the islands, became extinct due to the activities of the initial human colonists, the Guanches, who arrived around 1000 BC, including their introduction of feral cats. The Syrian elephant is a proposed name for the westernmost population of the Asian elephant, which became extinct in ancient times. Due to the lack of any late Pleistocene or early to mid-Holocene record for Asian elephants in the region, it has been suggested to have been anthropogenically introduced during the Bronze Age, though this is disputed. Ancient Syrian craftsmen used its tusks to make ivory carvings. In Syria, the production of ivory items was at its maximum during the first millennium BC, when the Arameans made splendid ivory inlay for furniture. They are frequently mentioned in Hellenistic history. The Seleucid kings, who maintained numerous war elephants, reigned in Syria during that period. Hannibal had a war elephant known as, Surus, it has been suggested to mean, the Syrian. It was said by Cato to have been his best, and biggest, elephant. In that case, the elephant may have been of Seleucid stock. If it were in fact of native Syrian stock, or an imported Indian elephant, remains subject to speculation. Microgale McPhee is an extinct shrew tenrec from southeastern Madagascar. It is known only from two partial skulls found in Androhomena Cave. It is the only known recently extinct tenrec. Its past presence there suggests formerly more mesic conditions around the cave, which is currently in a dry area. Voe thought to have become extinct relatively recently during the Holocene. It has even been suggested to have disappeared in the extinction event that wiped out much of the endemic megafauna such as the elephant bird following the arrival of humans to Madagascar around 2,000 years ago. Its name comes from the Malagasy word for crocodile. One unusual feature of voe that distinguishes it from other crocodilians is the presence of prominent horns, extending from the posterior portion of the skull. They are actually the posterolaterally extended corners of the squamosal bone. After they conquered Sicily in 242 BC, the Romans wanted to capture some specimens that had been left behind in the middle of the island by the Carthaginians, but failed in the endeavor. 
the elephants with which Hannibal crossed the Pyrenees and the Alps in order to invade Italy during the Second Punic War belong to this group, with the exception of Hannibal's personal animal, Cirrus. The North African elephant was also trained and used by the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. Writing in the 2nd century BC, Polybius described their inferiority in battle against the larger Indian elephants used by the Seleucid kings. During the reign of Augustus, Roman circus games resulted in the killing of 3,500 elephants. Originally, its natural range probably extended across North Africa and down to the present Sudanese and Eritrean coasts. Atlas Wild Ass was last represented in a villa mural in Bona, Algeria, and became extinct as a result of Roman sport hunting. It might also have occurred in rocky areas of the Saharan Desert, but not in sands which are avoided by wild asses. Based on ancient drawings, the Atlas Wild Ass had stripes on its legs as well as a shoulder cross. The existence of elephants in ancient China is attested both by archaeological evidence and by depictions in Chinese artwork. Long. Thought to belong to an extinct subspecies of the Asian elephant named Elephus maximus rubridens, they lived in central and southern China before the 14th century BC. In December 2011, a study by a team of scientists from China reported that the elephant living in China in ancient times could not have been a subspecies of the Asian elephant, as previously thought, but probably belonged to the genus Paleoloxodon. It were distributed across Asia, but it is unclear if the mysterious elephants of northern China were remnants of Paleoloxodon or a unique species of their own. Elephants were used for warfare in China by a small handful of southern dynasties, they were able to carry a tower with some ten people on their backs.